let us discuss about database in this video so far we have our application running and it is pretty nice so uh, the things you need to know about database is very important because when i learned uh, about laravel it was a little bit confusing how they set up the database first thing first we have an environment uh, file here dot env if i come here you can set all your uh, uh, variable or not variable all the constant here like your database name your username the password of course you can use it in the production too but it is something that you put here and laravel will use the db name in their file in the config if you go to the config and the database as you can see they will use the db connection it will use mysql and of course you have a lot of uh, other uh, database support like sqlite sql like p g sql and then sql server and all of those things of course you are using the mysql that's why uh, when you are referencing to database it will reference to the env uh, variable here the environment and it will go and take the environment uh, variable that you set in the env file if you come to the env here is the by default it says the home state the password and we will set up it here so if i come to the browser i should go to the local host php my admin and make a database for our application this is the only time you go here then you don't need to go because if you are developing application with uh, i don't know about the coding writer in coding writer, i think you should come here and carry all your tables here if i give them let's say put a car it is a car or anything automobile our database name is car we don't need to create a table because laravel will create the table for this and i will come here the database name is car and the username is root we don't have a password for our database for now as you can see it is all right and you can uh, change your app name here as you can see the app name it is as return laravel i will add car repair and then you have a app key here it is the encrypted key which is very important then you have your app url the uh, environment variable is to local means we are in the local environment you have other things also here which you might discuss in the future well, some of them are not necessary for now and the debugging is true means it will show all the errors for you for now if i come here uh, we should uh, see the change uh, when you change the app name from laravel to car repair but if i refresh now it will give us the an error like a denied here the for the password reset and all of those things so again i should come here okay we have a, a little maybe a little mistake here but we have changed here okay let's give the database name as car and the username as root save it and if i refresh the page for now it's working just fine but if you are changing the app name to car repair there should not be any space between them because your app name should not have any space firstly if i refresh this now it is working just fine but the, this have not changed because it is still running the old server this is the server that, that is running if i terminate it by control c here it will mm, close the server and run the command again now it is running the, the command again if i refresh this time it should change it but we don't see any changes here so if i refresh the page still we don't see any changes because this is the home page if i go to the login as you can see we can see the car repair here because they use uh, something called uh, a variable in their file that they, they just come here and use the app name but for the home page if i come here they don't use anything i will show you where this file uh, exists and how you can change this file too but if you go to the register now instead of the default level you can see the car repair here so in the next video we will learn about routing and the files about the view